Some school kids from Tomball prayed that their principal would get help. And Action 13's Marvin Zindler has their story. Marvin? Well, I'm glad to say that their prayers were answered by one of Marvin's angels. Seven miles west of Tomball is Rose Hill Christian School, where the students rallied behind their principal. And those youngsters did rally behind their principal because they sent me dozens of letters from the first grade through the sixth. And I can tell you, they wanted something done for their principal. I wanted you to hear from the kids themselves, so I went into one of their classrooms. Welcome, Mr. Zindler. Samson is a fourth grader. Dear Mr. Marvin Zindler, could you help our principal, Mr. Cox, because he has to go around wearing a patch. A whole school would like it if you could give him a new eye. He gets called a pirate with a patch on. Our school is praying. Mary Grace is a third grader. He is a great principal. He is funny, he, he smiles a lot. So I would like to ask you a little favor. Would you give Mr. Cox a new eye? John Cox accidentally shot himself in the eye with a plastic dart gun when he was six years old and lost his sight. Well, last month his eye became infected. And I took the uh, false eye prosthesis out try to keep it to get it to heal. I uh, went to a specialist and the, the prosthesis is burned. It's, it's worn out. Cox is new at the school and his insurance hasn't come through yet. With a family of his own to support, a prosthesis is expensive. The, the money is not there right now, no sir. I asked Marvin's angel, I surgeon Dr. Mark Longo, to look at the letters. I've read those letters from those students and I'd be more than happy, it'd be a privilege to help him. Yes, the youngsters' prayers have been answered. The students here are wonderful. I am blessed to be here where I am now. Well, I guess I have to say that out of the mouths of babes come pearls of wisdom, and thanks to the kids for writing, and thanks to Marvin's angel, Dr. Mark Longo, for helping their principal. Marvin Zendler, Eyewitness News. Good story, good and story, thank you. wonderful thanks. kids. Yeah, really, thanks. A little boy used to be made fun of by other kids at school. That was until Action 13's Marvin Zindler stepped in. Marvin? Well, what a difference a few years make. Take a look at this youngster then and now. See this little fellow leading the parade down the hall? It was just three years ago. This little fellow really had a problem. But now, how do you feel? Fine. You may recall that Travis, then four, had a tumor removed from behind his eye. The operation left his eye without sight. Painful and droopy, the other kids poked fun of him. They point and they gawk. Typical kids. There was no more money for help. Eye surgeon Dr. Mark Longo remembers the day I brought Travis to see him. Well, Marvin, when you brought him to me, it was just after he had a tumor removed from behind his eye. We ended up having to remove the eye, then fit him with a false eye, and finally lift his eyelid. He ended up doing very well, had a very good post-operative recovery. Today, Travis is doing great. How, how's he been around the house, Dad? Oh, he has been just great. Super. Does, does he have any problems at school at all? Not that we're aware of. He don't say anything about it at school. He just goes to school. How about it, pal? Are you glad you had that eye put in? Yes, sir. What do you want to be when you grow up? A singer. Let's hear what you're going to sing. I'm proud to be an American, but they still know I'm free. Now that was good. <laughs> and we are very proud of Travis. Well, Dr. Mark Longo is one of Marvin's angels and has been for a long time. And I want to thank him for the work he's done on little Travis. Marvin Zendler, Eyewitness News. Okay, That's great, Marvin. Good. Thanks, Marvin. Thanks. Action 13's Marvin Zendler says most people remember all the bad things that happen in the news. Well, tonight Marvin also wants to re remember some of the good things, like a story that he did last year. Marvin? Well, if you don't remember and didn't catch my segment last November, let me tell you about Terry McCall. 
Terry was three years old when he put out one of his eyes while playing with the fart. Now Terry needs a class eye, but his folks don't have the money. They don't have the money to afford to get him a eye where it could be looked regular. They told me that I couldn't afford the prestigious, so that's why we've never been able to get it through the years. Now years later, Terry is having problems in school because of his blind eye. He has shared with me that that has interfered with his behavior and I believe his success in academics. So I called on one of my Marvin's angels, Dr. Mark Longo. Now eight months later, Terry's mother brought him in to Dr. Longo's office so I could see how great her son looked. And boy, what a difference. I had to ask which eye it was. See the before, and now look at the after. I removed his eyeball, put in an implant, and then sent him to the ocularist, and then they made a prosthetic and put a prosthetic in to open the eye up. I'm excited because it looks nice. I'm, you know, it, it was closing at first, and he looked kind of abnormal, but now it's normal, and his smile is more, you know, exciting. Mm, that was great. That was good. Before he received his new eye, Terry didn't smile. Now look at him. Terry's all smiles. What a difference a day makes. And I never get tired of thanking Marvin Angels for doing good work with kids. So thanks to Marvin Angel, Dr. Mark Longo. Marvin Zendler, Eyewitness News. Very good. Okay. Good right. story, Marvin. Thanks. A 13-year-old boy has been waiting a decade for some help. Well, actor 13's Marvin Zindler got involved, and now help is on the way. Marvin? Well, yes, help is coming in the form of one of Marvin's angels. <laughs> Terry McCall is an eighth grader at Creekside School in League City. Yeah. Terry's assistant principal wrote that she felt Terry could be helped by one of Marvin's angels. Well, when Terry was three, he lost his eye while playing with the fork. I was banging on a piece of wood and got stuck, and I put it out and it hit me in the bottom, like right there. Mrs. Bell, what does the doctors tell you about Terry? They did three surgeries on him, and they told me that he would be able, he would not be able to see again out of the eye. I asked assistant principal Mandy Kyle if Terry has problems because of his eye. Yes, he has shared with me that that has interfered with his behavior and I believe in his success in academics. I didn't have the money to afford to get him a eye where it could be looked regular. They told me that I couldn't afford the prestigious, so that's why we've never been able to get it through the years. I did call in one of Marvin's angels to take care of Terry, eye surgeon okay, we'll Dr. Mark Longo. Then he may end up needing the eye removed and a prosthetic eye placed. And he can move the eye the same with the other one. They both move together, right? No, they'll move simultaneously, although the movement may not be perfect, should be better than what he has now. And he'll look pretty normal. Absolutely, much improvement over this. Because the family has no money and there's nothing they, uh, you know, she works for a little retail outlet. I'll be happy to help him. Are you anxious to get a prosthesis in that eye so you would look just like everybody else? Yes, sir. Think you're gonna help you get a nice girlfriend? Huh? Yes, sir. Well, thanks to the Creekside School for wanting to help Terry, and I want to thank Dr. Longo, one of Marvin's angels, for taking care of this youngster. Marvin Zendler, Eyewitness News. Very good. Thank you, Marvin. Thanks, Marvin. Well, uh, since the implant uh, shifted, I can't put the prosthesis on the when I put it slips out. It doesn't stay in. Yes. That's all. Soreness if you take it from here. And put your right uh, beta resection on him. And what we did was shorten his muscle. And he should be ready. She required approximately four surgeries to rebuild the eye socket and get the tissue to where it would hold a false eye again. D how does it feel? Very good. Doesn't hurt at all. No pain? No pain. And so now you're going to be able to 
go about your business about and business. nobody will know that you ever had a problem with your eye. No. Teachers in a Baytown school come to the aid of a student. They brought in Action 13's Marvin Zindler to cut through some red tape. Marvin? A handicapped 11-year-old youngster from the West Indies can sing up a storm, but unfortunately needs extensive medical care. This is my country, land is on Antoine Harris and his classmates at Baytown's Crockett Elementary School are rehearsing for this week's Veterans Day program at school. Principal Betty O'Sullivan. He is such a special student to our campus. He's captured our hearts and he sings like an angel. The 11 year old is a handicapped student in teacher Holly Avanta's life skills class. Antoine's an excellent student. He works very hard for me. Antoine has a variety of medical problems including a major problem with his eyes. How many operations has your son had? Antoine had four operations um, and they from birth to two years. Two years, four operations. The family's from the West Indies. His mother has a green card and works in a school cafeteria. She can't afford the extensive medical help Antoine needs and can't get her son approved for county medical care. Because I wanted the gold card if in case he falls sick because sometimes he's having seizures. What am I going to do? Goose Creek School Counselor Carrie Hargrave Didn't called a number of charities for help. But medical-wise, called several. We tried the county clinics um, to get a gold card, Medicaid, um, different other charitable organizations, and every time we got the same response. Not a citizen, there's nothing we can do. Wait just a minute. Even though this family is here legally, what does being a citizen have to do with getting charity help? Well, I called on a man who really will provide charity care when I bring him a youngster in need. Eye surgeon Dr. Mark Longo. I went over Antoine's problems. I think he's got more problems with his eyes, even though he has a, a really serious other problems. Any way that you can help him? Sure, Marvin. I believe that I can examine him and then possibly refer him to a pediatric neurologist or a neurosurgeon, depending on what problems he has. Do you think there's a chance to help him see? And I believe there are some things we can do to help him. Antoine also has painful cavities. I asked children's dentist, Dr. Mark Urbach, who agreed to provide dental care, and he steadily agreed to help. Everyone was glad that help finally was on the way. Thank you very much. That would be great. Well, Dr. Marco, Dr. Mark Longo is one of Marvin's angels, and so is Dr. Mark Up, uh, Urbach. I can't pronounce those names. Both of them are showing their wings by looking after Antoine, and Crockett Elementary School in Baytown is a blue ribbon school. Marvin Zendler, Eyewitness News. Very good. Thank you, Marvin. Thanks, Marvin.